Alright, so here's a video showing how I got the USB playing video now. So for those who are inquiring, there's my USB there. It's actually a mini USB inside a USB converter. Okay. And we're going to play some video. And there we are. So just to show that it is a USB, I'm going to fast forward to another video, just in case you're wondering. It's going to be loading up another one, so this is not a DVD. So basically, the bottom line is you got to use a converter, and in my case here I use the DivX converter. And what I did was I, um, we could fast forward that a bit. Right. So, you can put a whole bunch of movies on your USB now. And instead of scratching up a bunch of discs, you just back up all your DVDs onto USB. And you can have 30 movies, 40 movies. And you don't have to worry about your kids scratching up the, all the DVDs and then them complaining about, oh, it keeps pausing, it's not working. So, there you go. Fast forward this a bit. Show that it's a different movie. I got Miami Vice there. Okay. So I'll show you which format I used. So I'll pause it for now. I'm going to use my Re Remote to change the input. So we're going to put input. And we're going to change it to the computer. Uh, let's minimize that. So here you got your DivX converter. I would click that until it opens. And basically, you would, I chose the home theater function. There's different ones you can choose, right? In my case here, I use home theater, which is AVI, DivX, and the sound is MP3. It creates files up to 720 to 576. So once I clicked on that, you add files, then you select output profile, and you lower, I find if you lower the resolution, considerably um, then it'll work because this unit here is definitely not high definition you're not gonna get blu-ray quality folks so yeah you gotta go back to the 90s for this style so everything becomes blurry around the edges um, same thing on the screen so no high def here but at least you can have a whole stack of movies on your USB and it'll keep the kids happy because they won't really care Unless you want to buy a Blu-ray uh, player for your car and get an HDMI input and find an HD screen. That's another way of doing it or you can mount an HD screen and mount that in your vehicle. Hey, there's many options, right? Or you could just buy a new town or country that comes with a Blu-ray player or Jeep Grand Cherokee um, that also comes with a Blu-ray player with high definition screens. If that's your thing. Go ahead, spend 80, 90 grand on those vehicles. All right, the, the town and country, I believe, is 50. But either way, they have Blu-ray players in them. And I will post up a video showing the. I have my uh, town and country review, which shows the Blu-ray player in it. And it shows really nice, actually. So um, I'll put a little snippet of it as a separate video so you don't have to watch the whole video.
Peace out.